rain. It can be raining and then suddenly temperature can just drop a little bit and then it starts to turn into snow. In my mind, when rain turns into snow, that's a, that's a really positive thing, a metaphor for hope. Rain turning into snow You put on your robes And disappear Well, that's the sun in blau, which means the blue expanse between land. This is Bakastad here. This is where I live in Bakastad here. I first came here in 1997. My mum's family, back in the midst of time, were, were, were Vikings and got a, a Viking surname. So I've always found, had a yet another fanciful kind of connection with the place. A friend of mine, Mark Cardinal, came to me one evening and said, is there anything you'd like to do, anything? And I said, yeah, there really is something I'd love to do. I'd, I'd love to bring some orchestral musicians up to Iceland. Just watch the landscape and, and, and everything that, that, that kind of sort of takes place on, on a daily basis. So yeah, I had like 15 musicians in this room. I'd give them a kind of a very sort of loose harmonic plan. Only, only, only play those notes, okay? But, but, but within that, you, 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 you can play, uh, you can play around it. So everyone would have their own sort of place, and then they'd be given, they'd be given um, parts parts of the picture to sort of uh, uh, meditate on. Violas would be playing the sort of the gentle movement of the sea, and uh, the trombones and the low brass would be just playing the fog. Within within all of the those improvisations there there were I mean like you know little fragments like that um, and I kind of sort of took a lot of those things and started to sort of turn them into complete songs That idea of rain turning into snow was really more of a, a metaphor for hope. I suppose during the pandemic, that's how I kind of sort of perceived it. I think a lot of people had an opportunity to 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 slow down and and be live a more kind of sort of quieter existence for a while and listen and therefore be able to listen to nature and realize how um, glorious it is. I, I mean, I've always felt a deep need to not lose my, my sense of grounding to the earth uh, and especially the sea really. I mean, I mean, I don't know last 10 years or so I've really, really realised that I need to be by the sea a lot. A song like Royal Morning Blue is at the crux of it all, you know, it's like, it's like kind of singing for reversal, for renewal, you know. <laughs> 